Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another creature design. We're going to be working in Procreate today. Um, I have already pre-generated the animals we're going to be working with today, so I will show you those. We have the Bee Eater, the Red Wolf, and Phylaco Smilus. Hopefully I'm saying that right. If not, bear with me. But yeah, that's what we're working with today, so let's hop in Procreate and get started. So, I didn't record the initial sketch with my camera, but here is a replay of it from Procreate. I pretty much already knew what I wanted when the generator gave me the set of animals, so it was a pretty straightforward kind of deal. I hardly spent any time trying to decide how to combine these animals, which is always a super nice thing to have happen. I pulled mostly from the Red Wolf and the Lago Smilus for the bulk of this creature. The most notable Bee Eater influence is in the coloration, which you'll see later on, though I did give it bird-like feet. Sometimes I feel like that's reaching for low-hanging fruit when it comes to random creatures where a bird is involved, but it's what I felt like doing, so it's what I did. Originally, I had wanted to give this guy big ears, but I ended up liking the earless look more. I feel like it looks more unique that way. It does have ear holes, but they're covered up by fur, as you might have guessed. I intended this guy to be a tropical predator. Um, it ends up being really brightly colored for a predator, but I imagine his environment is so colorful with tropical plants and whatnot that it doesn't really matter. He does definitely end up walking that line between cool and functional though, for sure. work on creature designs for YouTube traditionally, as you know if you've been here a while, but I decided to tackle this one digitally for the sake of time. I feel like I apologize every time I post a video for taking a super long break, sorry, and part of that is just because I've been so busy lately that taking out all of my traditional art supplies for every video just seems like a monumental task. I will still do traditional pieces, but I want to start incorporating more digital stuff into my lineup. I think um, between that and keeping my videos shorter will help me be more consistent in the future. I prefer watching longer videos myself, but trying to balance YouTube with my job and household duties can be pretty tricky, so I'm going to adapt and overcome if I want to be better about posting here, which I really, really want to do. I've been feeling more inspired to create lately, particularly creature designs. They're my favorite thing to do when it comes to original art. They're super fun and kind of like putting a puzzle together. I've been playing with the idea of making creature designs the main focus of my channel, although I'm sure I'll have other stuff sprinkled in as well. I just want to follow what I'm most passionate about and that just happens to be making weird animals. I also have some ideas for tutorials concerning Procreate and how I personally make art on my iPad. I've learned a lot recently and I want to share it with you guys in case anyone finds it helpful. Speaking of which, the brushes I used for this piece were mostly brushes that mimic traditional media. For sketching the lines, um, for sketching in the lines rather, um, I used Dina Norland's Pencil B brush from her Procreate brush set, which I will link down below. I also used the color block brush from that set for filling in the base color. For painting the colors of the creature's fur, I used the default Procreate brush Laura Puna, which I am not sure how to pronounce, but there we go. And for doing the highlights and minor details, I used the default Procreate brush called Dry Ink. I'd love to do a whole video showing my favorite brushes and how I use them, as well as how I color line art and such, but let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to do a tutorial on and I'll do my best to make it happen. Another thing I wanted to mention is that in editing this video I was torn between making it real time with big cuts and footage to keep it under 10 minutes or just speeding it up. I went with speeding it up but I've heard mixed talk about what people prefer to watch so I don't know if that was the right choice. I made that decision because I didn't want to cut so much footage of me making and fixing mistakes and whatnot um, as I really think that's important to leave that kind of stuff in there. Um, even though it's super fast it's more real that way um, but I don't know. Let me know what style of video you prefer in the comments. I don't have 
not much more to say about this creature except that I really had a lot of fun creating it. I think he turned out really cool in spite of me struggling with his back legs, but who doesn't struggle with back legs from time to time? I especially love the simplicity of using Procreate for this. It was so nice to get this done smoothly without juggling a bunch of traditional supplies for once. I'd love to get y'all's feedback on the video in general as well as everything else I talked about. It really helps me out as far as deciding what to create and how to best go about growing the channel. There's definitely more creature designs to come. Um, I've started an entire creature design sketchbook just to do some quick little designs in. I might give y'all a sneak peek into that, I might not, we'll see, but I will certainly do a sketchbook tour of that whenever it's finished. Anyhow, that's it for me. I'll leave y'all to whatever footage is left. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See you next time!